Hey everybody, it's Mr. Smith bringing you your weekly update again through video. Our main focus this week is taking a peek at next week and explaining kind of our upcoming shift in instruction. Before we do that, again, I want to emphasize that I hope all of your families are doing well, um, doing the best that you can with all the changes that have been thrown at all of us. Uh, it, it, there's no doubt that it has been a change to all aspects of life. And so again, just hope that you and your family are doing well. Uh, also want to emphasize that we are here for support resources. And so if there are any things, uh, anything that we can do to help out you or your family, please reach out either to myself or your classroom teacher. Uh, we we want to do what we can. So um, again, please do not hesitate if there's something that, that we can do to assist you and your family uh, you, during these very, very challenging and, and unique circumstances. Um, looking into next week, the, the big change for us will, will be our instruction and how that is delivered. Um, on Monday the 20th, our, our teachers have prepared a series of videos. So there will be one video per content area for reading, writing, and math that will focus on new instruction. The material covered to this point and the resources that we have shared was was to kind of review and and keep kids fresh on information that was covered prior to spring break and our our instruction will now focus on um, topics and subjects and, and content that we have not covered to to this point in the year and so it will be new instruction for students and again that will come in the form of video now what we will then ask after the video um, and, and part of this is is with the Department of Education's new guidelines for us to be considered voluntary um, with with our instruction in the format that we've chosen for however long the closure takes uh, is that we do have to get feedback um, in, in some form of, of interaction so I know we will keep the class meetings going we've, we've loved seeing kids and checking in with those but as far as feedback then the instruction will have will follow up with some sort of guided practice or um, different activities to assess how well the kids are understanding those new concepts and the main main method that we are doing that is through seesaw or through um, picture and response through email to teacher uh, some way shape or form just demonstrating what it is that the kids took from the lesson and so those are kind of the two primary methods um, I know one one piece of feedback that we have gotten is we're from parents is that you're getting a lot of emails getting a lot of seesaw notifications uh, we're doing our best to, to minimize and try and keep the everything coming at you as simple as possible but I know uh, it's it's quite a bit um, I would really, really emphasize checking in thoroughly on Mondays because that's when we will distribute a lot of our our information. The videos will be will will come to you through websites that the teachers have created, uh, and so the videos kind of looking at our weekly progression. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend that taking a peek at the videos early in the week and then following up with the different activities and and um, assignments, guided instruction that. The teachers have prepared for students and then we will provide feedback and, and kind of go throughout the progression of the week so um, again we with with all of this um, our, our goal with this is to provide and and not overwhelm uh, and so if if at any point it gets to be quite a bit for your family or your child and it's just whoa hey morning bell there there you go um, it gets to be a bit much take a break um, we, we do not want to cause more stress or more of a challenge than we we are all already facing currently uh, and so please do what is best for your family but um, you know we we're going to continue to provide the new instruction and the, the new resources and, and things that will will help students that would would have been covered uh, for the tail end of the year so uh, again please do what is best for your family but this will be our, our new weekly format so on Mondays uh, we'll, we'll send out more uh, more videos for that week's worth of instruction and then the activities following uh, will be will be to support that learning and that content so any questions you have with that reach out to your child's teacher um, Hope everybody has a great week and, and again stay in touch. Email, 
whatever it is that, that we can do to help. Reminder for dates for our upcoming week. On Monday the 20th, we will have our, our paper packet distribution at Bailey Park from 11 to 1. And so that will reflect um, as much of the video content as, as we are able to uh, in, in the learning there. Um, and then on Wednesday the 22nd, uh, it, mon excuse me, back up one. So Monday also is our food distribution day at the high school from 11 to 12:30, and that food distribution is also at the high school on Wednesday, the 22nd, from 11 to 12:30. So we hope everyone is doing well. Again, reach out, communicate, however it is that that we can help. Uh, kids, we miss you. Take care, and we'll check in soon. Thanks.